All right, let's talk about models and systems. Now, how do scientists use models? All a model is is a representation of an object or process. We can take things that are very tiny and make a model that is larger so that we can make observations about it, or we can take things that are very large and make them smaller, something more usable, again, so that we can learn more about it. Um, we can use models to test our ideas about things that we can't observe directly. Uh, models are used to represent systems, and a system is just a group of parts that work together to carry out a function. Earth is a system made up of air, life, water, ice, rock. Um, if you recall, we did Mystery Tube, where you, uh, you weren't sure about what was going on inside of that system, but you made a model and you tested it. Um, and if uh, your results were the same, then you knew that you had a good representation of what the Mystery Tube was. Now, some common characteristics of systems. All systems have to have at least one input, which is the material or the energy that's going into the system. They have to have at least one process, which is that action or series of actions uh, that happen inside the system. And they have to have at least one output, which is the material or energy that comes out of the system. Uh, now, of course, we also have feedback and that output that changes the system in some way. So how do models help scientists understand systems? Well, scientists build models uh, to represent a process. They test it, um, and they test whether the input and the output matches the input and the output from the system in the natural world. And again, if it does, then we know we're on the right track. Sorry about that. Now, there are different types of um, systems. There are simple, which just have a few parts or steps. And then, of course, there are ones that are complex. Lots of parts, lots of variables. And they can be difficult to build. And so what scientists typically do is just model one specific part of a whole system. They break it down. They make it easier to study. And when, uh, when we make models, scientists will make them based on assumptions. Uh, based on inputs and outputs from the natural world. Um, and we make these assumptions, again, to simplify the model because they can be quite, co quite complex. Okay, that was a short, sweet, and to the point one. Talk to you later.